Hey, what's up Street Talks? Derek Kim from Derek from Street Photography Blog. So, just wanted to share with you some random thoughts about art, creativity, and life, and so forth. So, one of my biggest passions in life, you know, besides photography, is philosophy. Because philosophy is essentially the root of almost everything. Because, you know, philosophy, art, I think it's generally probably the most interesting things for us to study because we start to think more about like why do we do what we do and what's the purpose of life and so forth and I know a lot of photographers one of the biggest uh, the sad things is that a lot of people fall into like nihilism is like oh you know what's the point of photography what's the point of life if there's no god there's no afterlife blah blah and what's the point of doing what we do and I think this is a huge challenge especially for us in this like you know post Christian world where we're more focused on like utilitarian values and You know my basic notion is this there is no ultimate purpose to life and Everything you decide that you want to do in life is going to be self-directed and there's no more or less legitimate life path for you to take I would say Just do more of what you like to do and do less of what you don't like to do and so uh, obviously all of us is different, right? Is that like some of us have certain skills, some of us have certain talents. It seems like the goal is to find what our Archimedes lever in life is and to maximize and exploit what our greatest strengths is. For example, I think I'm the strongest at writing, blogging, public speaking, teaching, you know, workshops, blah, blah, blah. And things I'm not good at is I'm not good at logistics, I'm not good at email, responding to people and stuff like that. And so, uh, I'm very lucky that, you know, I have my manager, Neil, who helps me with all the business and logistical side of things, and I can maximize more of what I personally do, which is creating information, knowledge, and content, and, and so forth. And I think the great thing with uh, thinking about exploiting our strengths is this. Generally, we like what we're good at. <laughs> so, even for me, blogging, it, it's funny because, like, Blogging is obviously hard and challenging, but to me, it's so fun. It's it's kind of like a kid on the jungle gyms, right? Is that like uh, kids only like to play at the jungle gym if it's fun, interesting, and enjoyable for them, and it's a little bit challenging, like like video games, right? Video games are not fun when they're too easy. We want some sort of challenge, and so it's it's kind of like what uh, Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi says calls it a, like a flow state, something that's difficult and challenging enough for us, but also interesting and still achievable by us. And so, um, realize that life is much more fun when you're actually challenging yourself, when you're actually pushing yourself to the next level and where you're actually doing things which are both challenging to you and also interesting to you. Because I think one of the biggest downsides we fall victim to is that we think we want an easy life, a simple life, a, you know, a stress-free life. And you know, I kind of get it, but I think what we actually want is we want a life where we don't have to do no bullshit that we think is stupid. We essentially want to have no busy work in life. Cause like, even for me, one of the things I hated most in school was when I felt like the teacher just giving us BS work in order to just kill the time rather than actually augment my mind with things which interested me and so forth. And in terms of life, I think life is most fun when you're exploring new forms of knowledge, when you're thinking more, when you're creating more, uh, lifting more weights. I actually think that, like this is just a very practical thing, getting into powerlifting, like trying to increase your one rep max for your deadlift, squat, and bench press week over week is a really fun challenge. And also with photography, art, and stuff like that, always striving to you know make art every day all day every day and trying to push your artistic medium a little bit forward and so for me i don't really think of finality as a personal goal is like you know i used to think oh you know once i just create that one perfect photograph or create that one perfect whatever then i'll just be happy for the rest of my life but no i think all art is an action it's more like a state of becoming is that you're always trying to work on something you're always trying to improve your skills, you're trying to evolve, you're trying to push it forward. And there's some things that you augment, some things that you like get rid of, some things that you, you know, like things, things are always changing, things are always in flux. It's like kind of the, the, the famous quote by Heraclitus, the pre-Socratic philosopher who says, you know, 
you never step into the same river twice. You know, like, so even think about the environment, right? Is that the world is changing, you're always changing, you're getting older, you're becoming more wise in some ways, you're becoming more childish and so forth. And so it's, it's realizing that like to constantly have a stream of creating is kind of what's more fun. Like even now I've made like 10 trillion YouTube videos. I, I have no idea how many I made. And the goal isn't for me to make a perfect video. The, the goal for me is actually uh, for me to continue to find inspiration and motivation to continually create new videos about things which I find interesting. And also realizing that, you know, I could talk about the same topic every single day and people are, oh, you're just repeating what you said before, but yeah, but I'm also discovering more nuance to my thinking and also kind of, uh, you know, refining my ideas and my thoughts. And so even with blogging too, I treat blogging kind of like meta thinking is the more I blog, the more I actually understand what my real thoughts are on a certain topic. So uh, being anti-perfection, I think it's generally a good thing. When in doubt, just publish it. And generally, like my notion is, has always been, you know, just get it like 80% good enough to what you consider and just hit publish. Or even better yet, better to publish something bad than not to publish anything at all. And, you know, this goes contrary to what a lot of people in society said. But like, to me, it's better to publish shitty stuff than publish nothing at all. Because generally, I think most of us are so hypercritical what we consider bad or shitty, it could still inspire and motivate other people too. And I know that just for myself personally, like uh, I'll give you another example. So um, the philosopher Nietzsche, he created, he wrote a lot of books. One of the books was titled The Will to Power. And it's, it was kind of like, it's, it's actually not one of his quote unquote real books. It's like, it's a bunch of drafts of some ideas he had. And I think ultimately he canned the whole idea. He just like, wanted to throw away but then you know his sister and his friends discover the manuscripts and like oh you know let's just take a bunch of his random thoughts and let's make a book out of it so will to power and it's so raw and a lot of people don't consider it a real Nietzsche book but I personally love it I love the ideas and even though they're just kind of drafts and unfinished thoughts to me it's it sparked a lot of my own uh, personal ideas and and I think that's the point of all media whether it be music art film theater videos books poetry and so forth is that it's not that that person is the ultimate arbiter of information and knowledge and wisdom, but if they, if people create stuff that sparks an idea within you or motivates you to do more of what you want to do, then I consider it good art. And this is why I love Nietzsche is that the more I read him, the more he motivates me to actually think my own thoughts and stuff like that. And obviously everyone's influenced by somebody, influences, to get influenced by other people is a good thing. I would just say is that the thing to avoid when it comes to other people is just essentially don't front, like don't don't be fake. Like there's a lot of people who, you know, are afraid to really say what's on their mind. So don't censor yourself, be honest. And to, to me, being authentic means to just say things which could sound bad and politically incorrect or whatever, but just keep your, your thoughts uh, authentic and just realize that you're not beholden to everything that you say is that you're always in a constant state of becoming you're always going to be sharing and learning so for me like a very simple thing the purpose of my life is to create blog posts create photos videos and so forth and to share with other people and to me this is the ultimate scalable way to maybe help empower humanity and this is how i decide to live my life is i optimize my life to simplify my life in order to work out at least once a day to write a lot, to publish a lot. I live in a minimalist apartment with super fast Wi-Fi, and I just strive to exploit my Archiv uh, Archimedes lever to the maximum every single day. And I just kind of treat it like a little fun little game. Is I'm just always curious, like how far can I push myself a little bit further every single day? It's kind of like increasing my one rep max every day, but you know, increasing my maximum creative output every day. And this is what works for me. It's not what's going to be work for you. So I would just say for you to be truly honest with yourself, ask yourself these kind of questions and think to yourself, you know, how can I maximize my own personal strengths in life and just kind of have fun doing it. All right. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.